If we stalemate the Zhao army at Jinxing Pass without engaging them in battle, we can borrow time. What's your opinion on this? The situation is unfavorable to us. I've walked through Jingxing Road. It is a mountain pass, so narrow that two chariots cannot drive side by side. Cavalry cannot ride out in a row. If the Zhao army of 200,000 strong garrison there, our 30,000 troops will not be able to rush out. It's a narrow road of over 100 miles. Army provisions can only travel after the main force. The Zhao army could cut off our route of supplies. Then we are doomed. We can dig trenches, build barriers, and hold our position without engaging in battle. That's exactly right. You will lead our main force to block off the entrance of the Jingxing Pass. The Han army won't be able to rush out, and I will lead a contingent of 30,000 to go around the rear to cut off their supplies. So the Han army will be stuck within Jinxing Pass. Once the Han army supplies are cut, they cannot advance or retreat. Within 10 days, you will easily take the heads of Han Shen and Zhang Ar. So what shall we do? We will be helpless. All of our commanders possess absolute superiority in terms of troop numbers and terrain. They can hardly restrain their ambitions to meet this battle using my approach. Moreover, Chen Yu is staunch with moral integrity in his temperament. What do you think he will do, Your Excellency? Our righteous army doesn't employ crafty tricks or cunning schemes. According to the books on military strategies, if we outnumber our enemies 10 to 1, we should surround and annihilate them. When we are several to one, we should fight. We are over 200,000 strong. Hansing claims to have tens of thousands of troops, but in reality, he only has a few thousands. And after they have traveled over a thousand miles, they'll be exhausted. If we do not engage him in battle, I fear he'll soon gain reinforcements. General, no more. As a superior state, if we avoid battling the Huns, we will certainly be reproached by all the other vassal states. If they indeed deploy their troops, what do you think are our chances of winning the battle? The situation remains unfavorable to us. Even if we rush out of the pass, in front of us is still the Mian River, 200,000 Zhao troops. Our army will have no route of escape. <laughs> Once they have sent out their troops, I will dispatch our cavalry to cut off the route of retreat. I have news from a scout. Report. The entire Zhao army marches toward Jingxing Pass without dividing their forces. So their entire army remains together. Then ours will begin marching after midnight. I still have much doubt. Our army is only 30,000 strong. Most are new recruits. You have trained them day and nights, but they are still new to the battlefield after all. Once the battle begins, they could panic and desert the field. I'm afraid that before our ingenious military tactic is employed, we will be routed. When the time comes, only the Mian Man River will save both of our lives. Situated between the Hebei Plain and the Shanxi Plateau, the towering Tahaing Mountains were a natural barrier between the state of Dai and the state of Tao. They had always been an important strategic location, being vied for by military forces. Since the beginning of the periods of spring and autumn and the warring states, the flames of war had constantly burned in this region. 
there were eight major passes collectively known as the Eight Mountain Passes of Taihan. They were little more than narrow gaps between mountains. Changxing Pass was the pass closest to Pingyang, the state of Dai's capital. On narrow Jingxing Road, the Han army marched at top speed. At this moment, on a narrow strip of land outside the entrance of Jingxing Pass, the massive Zhao army occupied favorable terrain. Just waiting for the Han army to appear. Is it gone? My stomach's still empty. Jinxin Gate is only a few miles away. We will battle the Zhao army before dawn. I know that you're only half filled, but I assure you that if we fight fearlessly, by noon we will have defeated the Zhao army. Then I will serve you all a feast with donkey meat and lamb soup. The mountain wind blew, and the atmosphere was tense, only adding to the nervousness of the soldiers. Chen Yu waited with hostility for the Han army to enter his ring of encirclement. By dawn, the Han army appeared at the entrance of Jinjiang Pass. Shen Yu was patient. He would wait for all the Han troops to walk into his ring of encirclement. He desired to wipe them out in a single blow. Surprisingly, the spearhead of the Han army marched all the way to the bank of the Myanmar River and lined up in a battle array. This tactic was thought a cardinal sin among military strategists. This is madness. What commander would put his battle array with its back to a river? There's no place to fall back no routes to escape. This Hansen has just lost his first battle and his entire army in a single foolish maneuver. Attack! The Zhao army launched its attack, driving the Han army to the very edge of the Myanmar River. It seemed defeat was inevitable. The entire Zhao army attacked in full force. However, the narrow terrain did not allow them to encircle and outflank the enemy. Zhao soldiers chased the Han army while picking up trophies along the way. Before the Han army was the enemy in full force. Behind them was the turbulent Myanmar River. There was no way for the Han army to retreat. So in desperation, they fought their enemy tooth and nail. With one soldier as powerful as 10 others, the Zhao army greatly outnumbered the Han army, but the contact area was small, 
and the former was never able to take advantage of the situation. Time passed slowly, and the massive Zhao army couldn't get a foothold. The Han army fought ferociously, like tigers trapped in a cage. Chen Yu's dream of annihilating the entire Han army gradually ended in smoke. Looking at his exhausted Zhao soldiers, Shen Yu had to order withdrawal. Withdraw! When the exhausted Zhao troops returned to their camp, they were shocked and confounded by the sight in front of them. Their camp was filled with Han army standards. <laughs> 